months ago, in the south of France, anti-fascist comrades in exile conceived the plan. I agreed to execute it. Anarchists and everyone agreed. Il Duce must be eliminated, physically, now. Not another propaganda by the deed to inspire the masses, no. An act of necessity, an act of humanity. How many victims have already been imprisoned, beaten, tortured, killed by his fascist black shirts in the name of Il Duce and the state? How many more will die unless we stop his murderous machine? Then I slipped the dagger in my boot, the gun in my waistband, and I carefully pocket the two bombs. Downstairs, at the usual cafe, my usual table, I sit and sip my espresso, hoping nobody notices I'm a bit nervous. <laughs> Destiny, of course, mine, consciously, his, unconsciously. I believe in everyone's right to total liberty, to live a life free from the chains of poverty, misery, ignorance, and power, free from the tyranny of any dictator. He, Mussolini, believes otherwise. Oh no, the bomb, the all-important precious bomb, the bomb that will change the course of history. The bomb that will end the life of the dictator right now. The bomb that will end his reign of terror. The bomb that speaks for anti-fascists everywhere. The precious bomb I have just thrown bounces off the windshield. <clears throat> for all of Italy, this is a difficult moment. According to a recent poll, three out of four Italians today feel insecure. Is this normal? No. This used to be a country of happiness, of respectful, law-abiding, homegrown and bred Italians. But since January 2007, we've noticed a sharp increase in crimes against property. There are those who claim that our party is leading a witch hunt against foreigners. Witch hunt, no. House cleaning, yes. Long overdue, the kind any good housewife performs all the time. The attitudes of many recent immigrants, particularly the Romanians, render them incompatible for integration into our society. Romanian gypsy refugee camps across Italy serve as a gathering place for thieves, prostitutes, muggers, and rapists. They must be cleaned out. Only yesterday, my dear old mother said she was afraid to walk alone at night, afraid that a Romanian gypsy might mug her. We cannot tolerate the Romanian rabble any longer. Antonio Discordia! 29 years old, born in a village in Abruzzo, a blue-eyed musician and philosophy student, now living in Rome. Sinka Denitsu, 22 years old, born in Romania, a violinist, emigrated to Italy in 2007. I can't believe it. I don't know where she is. I've looked everywhere. She's nowhere. No message, no call, nothing. Two weeks. Where could she have gone? Disappeared like that? This isn't right. Something's wrong. It's not like what she is. She doesn't do this to me. What am I supposed to do? I can't go to the police and report her missing. What are they going to say? She's a gypsy? Good riddance. Cut some. We talked about music, about philosophy, about history. She's smart, a real thinker. She's opinionated, but we got along effortlessly. And talented, man. She makes her violin sing, laugh, cry. She's a virtuoso. First, we hear the ominous rumbling of bulldozers. The telltale crunch of steel against wood. Neighbors screaming, yelling. Children, babies crying. Orders bark through a megaphone. Get out! Everyone out! Now! My mother, younger brother, sister, and I stumble into the darkness. Lights are everywhere. People are screaming, yelling. The police are arresting people. The police are yanking people out of their houses, swearing at them, hitting them, kicking them. Bulldozers are attacking shacks with people still inside. Now, police are checking people's papers, loading them into the van. 
certain deportation, the new law. Our elders say the Germans use gas chambers and ovens. Today, the Italians use starvation, disease, and coal. My father had a dream. He would tell us, one day we're going to Italy. There, the people are civilized. They will treat us better. You'll see. His dream became our nightmare. There are thousands of us Roma living here in Italy, and nobody helps us because we're gypsies. Oh, yes, Italy is a beautiful country. Rome, a beautiful city. If you're a tourist taking pictures of fountains and statues, if you're an Italian citizen and you have rights, But this government, the media, the police, deny my people the right to be human, the right to have a roof over our head, the right to food, medical care, work. Why?